What's good, Fly Squad? First off, shout out to Nody Squad for coming through off the early. But today, we're going to be talking about NBA Live 20 gameplay. Where is it at? It's after E3, it's after EA Play, and typically at this point in the year, we already have some gameplay for NBA Live. So where is it at? Is it not ready? Is EA Sports not confident in their product? That's what we gonna talk about today. But make sure y'all go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, like the video, and follow me on all social media so you can get all updates from me. I'm posting everything, gameplay, news, updates, whatever you wanna see, you can find it right here. But before we get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. So as I stated, EA Play and E3 have already pretty much ended. So we still haven't seen anything for NBA Live 20. So a lot of people, since we haven't seen anything for NBA Live 20, are feeling like it's canceled or delayed. I've already seen like three or four videos talking about NBA Live 20 is canceled or delayed just because they haven't seen gameplay at EA Play. Now let's be realistic. EA always gives us gameplay at EA Play, so I can understand why they would be upset about that. But at the same time, EA Play is literally three months from launch. Three months from launch. Basically meaning every time we saw the game early at EA Play, the game wasn't near finished or even close to the final product. So why are people wanting to see the gameplay now? I understand their reasoning. They want to see what NBA Live has to offer. And for good reason, because NBA Live 19 in the beginning wasn't accepted well by a lot of people. Some people really enjoyed the game, but a lot of people were making videos about what needs to be fixed almost immediately after the game launched. Not to mention the offline gamer was pretty much neglected for NBA Live 19, so people want to see what NBA Live 20 has to offer when it comes to offline gaming and the gameplay as a whole given that there was a lot of issues with NBA Live 19. For example, contestant shots pretty much went in almost all year. Basically, in a nutshell, NBA Live 19 really insults basketball intelligence. It really did because you can play the best defense of all time in NBA Live 19. The shot clock could wind down, but it doesn't matter. You can contest the shot. It doesn't matter. It's going in anyway. And people want to see that that kind of stuff has been fixed for NBA Live 20. So back to the original question. Why wasn't NBA Live 20 at EA Play? Come on now. We got to think about it. Like I said, it's three months ahead of time. EA Sports has been releasing gameplay, unfinished gameplay to us for years. I don't understand why people want to see an unfinished product instead of the actual thing that's closest to what you would get at launch. So what I'm thinking is I'm really feeling like EA Sports is going to have something later in the summer for us to actually see their gameplay. Now, also, there is an event coming up on June 20th. I'm not sure specifically what that is, but I don't think it's going to be gameplay for NBA Live 20. I don't even think it's going to be a trailer, but if it is, that's dope. Now, is NBA Live 20 canceled? Nah, it's not. You can just search all over Twitter, Instagram, and whatever else, and you'll see a lot of hashtags of NBA Live 20 with different people mo-capping, whether it's dance moves, dribble moves, and other gameplay aspects of NBA Live 20 that are coming out. However, we just don't see what that looks like in-game. Now, in my opinion, I feel like this is one of EA's smartest marketing strategies to actually hold off on building the hype because the closer you build hype to actual gameplay to the game releases the more sales i think that could actually drive for ea sports i'm not saying wait until september 2nd the day before the game comes out like nba 2k but if you wait until later in the summer that's when people are going to have a lot more to actually go off of when it comes to purchasing their game like i said in my last video remember EA Sports gave us everything by EA Play. Literally everything by EA Play. We didn't have no news for pretty much the rest of the summer aside from court battles. And you can create women. That is it. We really got no news pretty much the whole summer. 
no news. We got those clips of gameplay that a few of us got to record, and that's literally all we got. So basically by the time September rolled around and the game came out, there was no hype for it. There was no hype for it. So if they wait until like August to start promoting their game heavy, by September the day of launch, think about it. They're going to have people fresh on their mind thinking about NBA Live 20 or even NBA 2K20. And I feel like that's why NBA 2K does it the way that they do. Believe me guys, I'm just like you when it comes to wanting to see what they put together as far as a full product for NBA Live 20. The last full game that I can say that EA has had was NBA Live 10 and that promotion for that game was definitely bananas. It was crazy. Like they really did really good when it comes to that promotion. However, we are in 2019 now. Things have changed. They can't go by those old methods of promotion. They have to be a little bit more smart in order to drive more sales for NBA Live. Now, with that being said, they still have to deliver a product that will be worthy of us actually purchasing because I know a lot of people that are already skeptical about purchasing NBA Live this year. And most of the people that are skeptical are huge NBA Live fans, so you can already see that NBA Live 19 didn't really help NBA Live in any way, shape, or form when it comes to gaining ground. Yes, there are more people playing NBA Live. I can definitely see when I'm actually searching for games for 3v3 and 5v5. But at the same time, that core group of fans of NBA Live 19 or NBA Live in general were thoroughly disappointed with NBA Live 19. So hopefully, this year's game can actually renew some of their faith that they had in NBA Live in the past. So no, don't be scared. I know you're anxious. I'm anxious. We really want to see what this game is going to look like. But chill. Relax. We will see it in due time. And I'm pretty sure I got a good feeling about NBA Live 20 this year. I definitely have a good feel. I feel like EA pretty much did what we've been asking them to do for the longest time. And we're about to get something great. A, a product that's finally complete. Because we all know NBA Live 19 and even 18 were far far and away from complete hey but that's all i got for today guys make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and like the video that really helps me out we will be doing a lot more gameplay come nba live 20 and nba 2k 20 we will be doing a lot of news we will be covering pretty much everything when it comes to nba live and nba 2k this year we're trying to expand the channel so again make sure you subscribe like Man, do all that fun stuff. Your boy Fly Guy, I'm out. Oh, what's good, Fly Squad? We back at it again. Only reason we back at it again is because it seems like NBA Live 20 wasn't an EA play. And there's a lot of disappointed people out there. I don't know why, but there's definitely a lot of disappointed people out there. So let's talk about it. why. We